Well, even Jane Austen knew that an anti-hero was um, not, uh, like the world wasn't ready for an anti-hero mm -hmm. yet, but a uh, female anti-hero. But, um, but I think that is why, one of the reasons I love that Emma is because, oh God, one of the reasons I love Emma is because um, she's the perfect anti-hero. You know, and I think that um, there's a misconception that um, that uh, a woman who behaves badly is always uh, just a terrible person. And I, I think, you know, um, only people that you really love can hurt you as badly as Emma potentially, you know, could hurt uh, the people that she loves. Um, and so I think that... Um, I think that what I love about Emma is that it, it is like high school or like being stuck in an office or in a small town. Um, and uh, Jane Austen is such a brilliant satirist of, you know, of uh, the class system as well as I think the um, small town life and just the trials and tribulations of romance and friendship, you know. Um, and so I think, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think, I, I'm so in love with Emma, you know, the book and Jane Austen and, and the character because I think there's endless possibilities of how you could interpret the relationships. Well, I mean, their chemistry was electric, um, which is what I was looking for. And I, I, um, I knew I wanted Johnny to play uh, Mr. Knightley and Anya to play Emma. Um, uh, you know, b from the very beginning. Um, and when we tested their chemistry, it was really electric and, and that was super exciting. I don't, th I don't understand why there's a competition between, <laughs> I mean, why can't we love all of these romantic couples? Yeah. The thing is they represent something different. Emma and Mr. Knightley represent that person in high school, fuck, should I have, should I have kissed that person? Like, oh no, you know, or, you know, you're in your twenties and, and you, you're, you, it's like reality bites or when Harry met Sally, you're, you're in love with, um, your best friend and you don't know it. So that's what Emma is. And that's why I think this, the, the story lives on. And it's so iconic is, um, it's, it's, a, it's a separate kind of um, romance from Pride and Prejudice. And I think that Jane Austen was so brilliant at encapsulating these things that we are going to go through as humans till the end of time. You know, the costumes might change and the rules might change, but you think you hate that person that you keep fighting with and you realize when it's almost too late and often too late that you were in love with them the whole time.